I, I really was checked out. There's other things that were more positive. And so I, I really wasn't even present at the time. So, yeah. you know, I, um, I got an advanced copy of David Quinn's upcoming book. Um, yes, it's, it's really good so far. And I'm like, you, you know, oh, good. diving into it. It's great. Um, but it was good. so interesting. Like, I, I think it was like you said that your first day of filming was that infamous christening. Yeah. I mean, when, when that happened, were you like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I was like, whoa, I didn't sign on for any of this. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't who I am. This has never happened at one of our functions. So I was like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know about this. I wasn't sure, you know, mm -hmm. it's yeah, a big I, shock. I'm yeah. sure. And I, I guess I didn't realize that Teresa was so angry that you and Melissa were going to join the show. Yeah, well, again, like uh, I try not to live in that that part of my life anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Is it nice to see Teresa in a different relationship and, uh, you know, hap it's, she seems happy in a new relationship? Uh, you know, what? I'm always happy to see anyone happy. And yeah. so the fact that she's moving on, she's happy, that that's wonderful. Yeah, definitely. When's yeah. the last time you spoke to, you know, either Teresa or Melissa? Mm, it's been some time. I, I, I can't even recall. It's been it's been quite quite a long time. Yeah. You know, on yeah. your final day of filming, were you ready to kind of shut the door and be done with the show? Yeah, I was ready way before that. Were you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You could see I, I mean, if you look back and you see, you know, that there was parts there where I was present, but I really wasn't present. Like my body was there, but I wasn't contributing to the scenes. Even at the reunions, I was very quiet. Like people would say, why are you so quiet? I just wasn't playing anymore. I, I really was checked out. There was other things that were more positive and um, there were other things that I were working on in my life. And so I, I really wasn't even present at the time. So yeah. it, it, it was, it looked, it ran its course, you know? Yeah. yeah. Was there yeah. a specific moment that you remember? You're just like, eh, this is not for me anymore. Um, not a specific moment. I think it was just a progression of stuff, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, just an unending circle, like a revolving door that I just didn't want to keep going around in anymore. Yeah, no. And I'm sure like that, I think w was the final scene that you filmed with Teresa and Rosie and Joe and in that restaurant. I believe it was. I yeah. believe so. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. I'm sure that was a hard way to kind of go out. Um, you know, whenever someone ever, whenever someone, whenever there's a closure of something, yeah. it's always hard. You know, whether you want it or you don't. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always difficult. But um, it is what it is. You know, you can't. Like I said, you can't. Looking back, you know, you you think it's it's unfortunate, but mm -hmm. I try to focus on the positive things. And like I said, you know, I was able to free up time and do things that were more fulfilling and more, you know, uh, more in who I am about my life, you know? How's Rosie yeah. doing? She's great. Yeah. She's really great. Yeah, she's doing fantastic. That's good. Do you guys have, do you have a favorite memory from the show though? Cause there were a lot of fun times too. <gasps> there were a lot of fun times. Mm -hmm. And so I think that the, I, I was trying to remember like my favorite, favorite time. I think the time that we spent in um, Maribel was really wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was, it was a great time because it was, we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot about ourselves. So I think that horse scene, you know, mm -hmm. when we were doing that, that was really great. Um, the tightrope scene was, was fantastic. Um, it was a very empowering and educational, self-educating um, trip. And so that was a lot of fun. I really liked that trip. Yeah. If you were to do it all over again, is there something that you would do differently? And if they did ask you to come back on the show, would you go? Uh, I don't think that I'd go back on the show. It's mm -hmm. not something that is even on my radar right now. It's not, I don't, I don't identify with that the, with the whole time anymore. Yes. So I don't think that that's something I would do. Um, and, in the way that this show has progressed, that's really not how I live my life. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't think so. And what was the other part of the question? I don't remember. Um, if you were, if you were to do it all over again, what would you do differently? Um, I think maybe I would, um, not much differently. I think I would for, I would, uh, request that more things, positive things were happening, you yeah. know, but the show isn't really about that. So I was happy 
that the times that I spent with my family in the kitchen, doing things that I love to do, um, you know, starting my business, things like that. I mean, I know the show isn't about starting businesses, but it's about women finding who they are really Mm -hmm. in the next part of their lives. You know, you start out as a young woman, you have your families and all that. And then your career, your career, even if you've already had a career, it changes. And so Mm -hmm. I've been really lucky to be able to pivot my hobbies into a career, into the next part of my life. And so I think that that was a great stepping stone for me because it made me realize really where my passions and where my talents lied. Yeah, and definitely. And so opening the restaurant, teaching at Remington College, being part of the, the Food and Wine Festival. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. No, you know? and baking those amazing cannolis. Yeah, that was <laughs> they like look that. so good. Yeah, and they're, they're available on Gold Belly, who's a big participant of the festival too. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's all those things. So I don't have, like I said, no regrets, but I think that I would try to find a way to incorporate that more, you know, as much as possible. Yeah. Do you feel like that's what the show as a whole, as a whole of the franchise is kind of lacking that it just focuses so much on the dramatics and it should focus more on family? I think it should be focused more on family and then maybe the dramatics of women, finding who they are in the, in the in that part of their lives you know and so many women go through it even if you're not a mom or a wife you still go through changes especially now in, in this in these times you're going through changes where the workplace has changed so much and maybe career choices have and as you mature your priorities change so where you were more centered on making a living and making a, a great income, your priorities start to change and start to be about more what you're passionate about. Yeah. And you find that the things that you're passionate about in turn bring you a good living mm-hmm. and bring you, you know, and they're fulfilling in different ways. So when your heart is fulfilled, you give it your all and you're able to be there 150%. Mm-hmm. And in that, that resonates with so many people. And so I think when you do good, good comes back to you in one way or another. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever watch the show anymore just to kind of check in and see what's going on? No, I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, I don't even know the night that it's on, unfortunately. (laughs) But no, I I don't really watch. We 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 do mostly a lot of um, streaming and we watch series. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I I, I, of course, I love to watch Food Network. That's my, my, you know, and I love anything that is involving food and travel. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we kind of watch a lot of that stuff. 